I am so grateful that I got sent to the mission that I did. A huge part of that gratitude is because my mission president is amazing. Um, Mark Richards is his name, and he uh, just changed the mission. It was relatively obedient when we got there. Um, I think years before it had been um, kind of a struggle in obedience. And the mission president before was good, Elder Belliston, or President Belliston. He um, start, had started the cleanup and had done a really good job. And then when President Richards came over or came in, he just harnessed um, the obedience and the the miracles that come with that and just turned it into something amazing. We were a very powerful, um, spiritually powerful mission. And I love him. And I'm sure that the next mission president will be able to, you know, keep up with it just fine. He comes home in June, so it won't be very long. But he, I, with that, we had an incredibly obedient mission, which is so ex was just so exciting for me because I figured, like, why would you break the rules if you're already committing a year and a half or two years of your life to something? It just didn't make sense to me. And so to be able to go and to be able to live and expect your, your companions and the people around you to live obediently was awesome. Um, I didn't even know you could sleep in until like six months into my mission. I remember having a conversation with somebody and they were like, yeah, they slept in. And I was like, how? And they were like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, didn't their alarm go off? And they were like, yes, they turned their alarm off. And I was like, you can do that? And it just hadn't even occurred to me. And no, you can't do that. <laughs> like It's against the rules, but you, I guess you can by choice. But uh, we just had a strong mission and the people in the mission are amazing. Um, like I said before, like I, I moved around my mission a lot. I served in eight different areas um, and I was never anywhere longer than 12 weeks, which um, is really unusual. Most people stay in, in at least one area for close to three months, four months, sometimes six, sometimes longer. But I uh, moved around a lot. And a lot of the areas that I were in, I was in um, struggled with trust between the members and the missionaries. And President Richards brought a lot of focus into having good relationships with the members because the members were key to finding good people. And so I was able to to help a lot with that. And, uh, the member work there is amazing. Now we have a lot of referrals and, and a lot of trust and just great relationships with people like that. And, and there are remarkable people, equally remarkable people everywhere you go. And so every area that I was in, I had just incredible people that would, that would baffle me and that would surprise me and strengthen me. And, uh, only the best missionaries get sent to Baltimore. So your companions will be great. And, and it's just, I don't know. There's something beautiful about it. And it's, it's just gorgeous. The trees there and fall in Baltimore is awesome. Um, or e even in, in any of the surrounding areas, it's just beautiful. There's, uh, more trees than they know what to do with pretty much. And, and, uh, the sunsets are gorgeous and it's just, it's a great place. I love, I love my mission and and everything about it. I, I know I said in one of the previous videos that I had been disappointed that I got called. And, and ever since then, like, I know that was where I was supposed to serve. And I know that like, I think every mission will feel that way for whoever serves there. But there were people there that I needed to teach. I mean, Alyssa, the one that I referred to myself and, and so many others that just, I got the privilege of teaching the people that the Lord knew I needed and that needed me. And it was great. 